Hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozuelo from Curva.com and uh, today I am going to show you how to embed Power BI into SharePoint Online. So this is a highly requested feature that has come now with quite a few requirements. So we will go through the requirements first. So to be able to do this, you need first SharePoint Online you will have to create a new site. It didn't work for my old websites. I don't know why. I just couldn't find the web part for Power BI. So I created a new site and then it just appeared there. You will need a Office 365 first release setting activated. And it has to be for all users. All users that you want to, to see the report. Otherwise it won't work. And you need to have, or not you, everybody that is supposed to see the report need to have Power BI Pro. If they don't have it, they will see a login or sign in page instead. So there are quite a few requirements that you have to fulfill, but if you do, then you can start um, embedding Power BI files in SharePoint. And I'm going to show you how to do it. So let's just jump right ahead and show you. Okay, so here we are in Power BI and we are going to embed our Rio Summer Olympics uh, dashboard. And remember, you have to have a Power BI Pro. If you do, you can go in here, file and uh, embed in SharePoint Online and you will get a URL. So you just copy that. And now we're going to go into SharePoint. Now, here it gets a bit tricky. So when you log into SharePoint, this is what you will see. Uh, you have to create a new site. It didn't work for me otherwise. So I have created this Power BI site. And now that we're here, we're going to create a new page that will host our Rio Olib report and we click on there scroll down and here it is power bi preview add a report and here we paste the link that we just copied and as you can see it shows up in there and then it's fully interactive show navigation pane show filter pane so you can see that you can see the, the same filters that you actually have in um, in the report and then you can see the navigation pane is you know the tabs so either you show one tab or you show all of the tabs i wonder if you can do if we get data sources and no okay so when you create i guess when you create the report the link is saying which tab to open i'm guessing that let's check and it is not doing it hmm. because it wasn't the overall medals and that was it's showing us the last page uh, okay so, as you can see, that does not work. Perhaps, um, can we add it as a suggestion? Or, I don't know, perhaps when we save, it will... Let's try that. We go to the overall medals. That's the one we want to show. No, 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 it doesn't work. So, well, that's room for improvement. Let's put all the tabs there, save and close. And here is the Power BI file embedded. Not so nice with all this stuff that does not disappear. But again, this is a beta testing, so it will get better with time. This should go away.
Now, who can see this report? Well, again, you have to have uh, Power BI Pro license. You have to have this uh, first release feature on, activated. And who can actually see the report in SharePoint is controlled by the um, access rights on powerbi.com. So whoever can see these reports in powerbi.com we will be able to see them in SharePoint. So it's not the access in SharePoint that controls who can see the report. Okay, so that is an important one too. Just because you have access to Power BI group it doesn't mean that you have access to the embedded report. Okay. Great, so uh, this is all for today. If you enjoyed the video, let me know by liking it. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let me know in the comment box or any of the social channels listed below. And uh, subscribe, I publish Power BI videos every week. Have a great evening, bye.